What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Sir MC Coy, and we are here with the first ever game of the Maryland Dynasty. I'm pretty hyped. We got a pretty easy matchup here against Florida International. You know, that little tune up game. You look at the comparison between the teams, and Maryland isn't really, like I said, they're not that strong of a team. They're good, but they're not, you know, they're, they're not slippery rock level, thank God. So, we're trying to play with this team, a little little competition, see what the Maryland Terps can do. Florida International is one of the better of the independent teams. They're not really a, you know, they're not trash. They're no FCS team, but they are hopefully what can be considered a tune-up game here today for Maryland. We will see the kickoff and this game will get underway. Maryland will get the ball and that is our superstar receiver, DJ Moore, back to return. And we'll see him get this one up around close to the 25-yard line. Not bad. And as it is, of course, Bill Cowers' first game coaching at Maryland. His first game in college football. And we're going to see a toss out to sophomore running back Lorenzo Harrison who will be receiving the start over senior Ty Johnson. On second down, Pedro throwing in there is DJ Moore, breaking away from contact, but then is swallowed up by a swarm of Panthers. First down. They're sending Moore in motion on first down, and the throw will go to his way, but it'll be caught by the tight end, Derek Hayward, for a gain of 17. Motioning in vain. It's going to be triple option. Pedro on the keep, tosses it out to Harrison, who makes a move forward and gets about six. So far, so good on this opening drive for Maryland. Hand off again, now this is Ty Johnson, and Johnson will pick up six yards. Just because he's not our starter doesn't mean we won't be using him. He just doesn't have a lot of speed that I like to see in a three down back. And on third and nine, Pegram escapes, and he's gonna take off, weaving his way, and will be brought down just inches shy of a first down. So, Maryland keeps the offense out, and the handoff goes to Hayward, who does play fullback sometimes too, and that's good enough for a first down. No first and 10 inside the 20 yard line, Pigram throwing outside it's DJ Moore to the 5 yard line. A lot of comparisons with DJ Moore, his pro comparison would be Antonio Brown. That's a good one if you ask me as Lorenzo Harrison walks in, 5 yards untouched and Maryland will kick off the scoring here. 6 nothing Maryland as we take the lead here in the first quarter and now we will see what Florida International has. McGo is the quarterback and he can run just like Pigram as he picks up three. Third down and six. McGo again passing. There's Stanley Thomas Oliver. That's a mouthful. He picks up four yards. He will be shy of the first down and Maryland will get the ball back. Good three and out from the Maryland defense as we go hand off Lorenzo Harrison on first down and he picks up five. Good way to start. Second down and five. Pigram. To pass, hit as he throws, and he uncorks a deep one, and it's going to be intercepted by Florida International. Brown breaks away from contact and forced out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Kind of taking a risk there. I'm kind of used to Madden where you can just chuck it up and your receiver may at least go for it. Not so much in NCAA as we see Alex Gardner getting outside, and he's got a big run across midfield, a gain of 16, his best on the day. Second and 10 from Mago. Pressure incoming. He gets it out to the fullback, Kraut. And there goes Kraut. He's got space up to the 30. 19 yards for the fullback. First and 10. Kraut in motion. Jones is in the backfield. And they'll go handoff to Jones. And he does not have a lot of space. Tackle down after a gain of one. Third down and eight now for Florida International. Mago will go to laid handoff to Jones, and Jones has nowhere. Maybe two yards. Fourth and six, and the offense is staying out here. Interesting choice, as Mago will be sacked. Brought down for a loss, and that is Maryland ball. Great job there. They rush four, and, well, there's three there to get him. So Miami takes over, first down, Pigram senses the pressure but gets the pass off and it's complete to DJ Moore. How does he make that catch? 32 yards and a first down, Maryland's moving. On second down, we'll see Pigram go into the air, tries to escape and he is sacked. A big sack by a man named Newton Salisbury. That's quite the name. Third and 18, Pigram again looking to escape and he's going to take off. He's going to have a first down, no! 
Um, we had a little issue where I tried to slide and I accidentally ran backwards, so it's fourth and inches. You know the offense is staying out here. As we enter the second quarter, Lorenzo Harrison picks up three and a first down on fourth. Nice job there as it's first and ten again near the 20-yard line. Pigram throws left. There's Jacobs who takes a big hit, holds on, and it's first and goal. Bay motions into the backfield. We're going to see an option. Pigram keeps, tosses it out to Bay, and Bay is going to be in. Jaquiel Bay with the wide receiver run in off the triple option, and Maryland is up 14 0 early here in the second quarter. FIU takes over as Mago will toss it out of bounds very quickly. He sensed the pressure and just got rid of it. Third down and 15 now upcoming for Florida International. It's Mago throwing. All the time in the world as he unloads deep into lots of pressure. It's almost caught. McKevr nearly came down with it, but it falls harmlessly to the ground. Maryland ball as they take over near midfield as Harrison will get a nice run here to start the drive. Gain of eight. Second down and two. We'll see Pigram throwing here on the play action. Dropping back and he's going to take a big sack. A loss of 12 for Maryland. Third down and 14, Pigram again back to pass, and the pressure gets there almost immediately. Maryland was threatening there, but it ends up punting. So here we'll see Florida International again, a lob throw, and that is somehow caught by Darius Scott. That's a nice run. What a catch. On second down now with five minutes left to go in the half, Mago throws out to the running back Gardner, who slips away from first contact, but doesn't have much to go after that. It'll be third and four. Again passing, and Mago doesn't stand a chance. Sacked to the ground by Shane Cockrell, the outside linebacker, and it's Maryland ball. Play action, pressure incoming as Pigram will roll out, and he's going to escape it. Taken off for a first down and more, and he steps out of bounds after picking up 18. First down and 10. They're going to go toss out for Harrison, and that is going to be a big loss of five. The defense wasn't even remotely fooled. So that'll bring up a second and 15 as Pigram throws. Threads a needle to Harrison who picks up a first down and more. A gain of 24 through the air for Harrison. Good job after the catch. We'll see a rollout for Pigram. First and 10. Looking downfield and it's complete to Turner. Big gain of 18 yards and they move the chains. Option now to keeper for Pigram and he is brought down after a gain of 6. Not bad. Third and seven upcoming. Can they keep this drive going? Outside for Moore, who makes a move, and DJ Moore is into the end zone. That is a Maryland touchdown as they extend this lead to 21-0. Maryland is dominating here in the first half as expected. Beautiful. Two minutes left to go in the half. Let's see if Florida International can get something going as there's a big play to McEver who breaks away from first contact. That'll be good for 36 yards, the tight end's first catch of the day. Mago passing over the middle, and again it's McEver who holds on to that one. That is impressive. First down. Again to the air, lobbing downfield. This time it's Thomas Oliver, and he's going to take a face mask as he goes down, so a free few yards. First and goal. He'll go toss out for Gardner, and he has nowhere to go. Brought down for a loss. Third and goal. Hand off to Gardner. This time he gets to the outside, and Florida International will get some points here before the half, drawing this one to a 14-point game. And that will be our score as we head into halftime. Maryland was looking really good there. Uh, Florida International able to get some points on that last drive. We'll see in the second half. Welcome back to the second half of this game where Maryland is up 21-7. Looking to add to their lead as we go into the second half. Everything was going well for Maryland. The offense looked good. Um, they allowed a little bit of pressure. The defense was shut down save for that last drive of the second half. Which could be a little bit of momentum builder for Florida International who does get the ball back in the second half. So a big defensive stop on the first drive is key for Maryland in order to continue to control the tempo of this game. You allow a touchdown here and, you know, all of a sudden there's a shift in momentum. You do see Maryland dominating in all possible categories of stats except for, of course, turnovers, which was that lone one in the first quarter by Pigram, just lobbing one up into single coverage. 
So here we go. Florida International gets the ball. We are into the second half of this game. And we'll see him go throwing on first down over the middle for his wide receiver, Owens. His first catch of the day is good for a first down. On first down again, it's the throw, and that's the tight end, McKever, and this time he doesn't have much room. Tackled down almost immediately. Third and one, handoff to Gardner. He's going to get to the outside edge with a first down and breaking tackles. There goes Gardner across the 40 and brought down near the 35, a gain of 20. A quick throw out now for Jones, and Jones will pick up seven. They're using their running backs a lot here. They've got two of them, and they're both very good. Here's another running back, Phillips. This time, though, he has nowhere to go as Cockrell is all over him. Third and four, Mago lobbing wide open, man, and he just overthrows Oliver. That could have been a big play, and now they're going for it here on fourth and four. Seem to like going for it on fourth down, and it works this time as Anthony Jones makes the catch. Another running back getting involved. First and ten. Mago under pressure is able to get the throw off for Gardner and he's got a ton of space inside the five spun down outside at the three so it's first and goal throw for Mago <laughs> AJ Sattinger with the touchdown and Florida International is going to make this a touchdown game and what did I say you let him back into this and all of a sudden momentum is shifting in the wrong direction Maryland, though, still does have a touchdown lead, or they're going to try to add to it here with their first drive as Lorenzo Harrison picks up three, making it a third and five. Pegram to the air with time, threading a needle to DJ Moore. He just doesn't seem to drop anything. On second down, this time it'll be the handoff to Ty Johnson, who runs through first contact but falls down, gain of three, another third and five. Pickram to the air, pressure, and he throws into traffic. He was looking for more. It got tipped in there somehow, and it will be Florida's ball. There's a handoff to Gardner, and he has nowhere to go. Chandler Burkett, the defensive end with a tackle, and it's going to bring up an early third and 11. Go throwing outside. He's got Thomas Oliver, a big gain of 22 along the sidelines. First and 10, the handoff will go to Jones and Shane Cockrell is all over and he's been making a lot of plays today for the defense. Third down and 11, they send the tight end in motion. We go back to pass, four man rush. Pressure getting there, he gets the throw out to Jones who takes a big hit, shy of the first down by a long mark. We'll take a look at those stats between the halves. Not a lot going on here in the second half, though it is early and we've only had one possession. There goes handoff to Lorenzo Harrison, and that's a good way to start the drive. A gain of 15 for the sophomore. First and 10 will again go keeper on Harrison. And that's a gain of five. So 20 yards thus far on this first drive. They'll set up a third and three as they go handoff to Ty Johnson in the read option. He will be denied the first down. But on fourth and three, we're going for it. Pigram to the air, quick throw outside, looking for more, and it's nearly intercepted by Lubin. Great coverage. Florida International now takes over with excellent field position as Mago takes over. It was a screen that was well covered, but he's able to run for four. To the air, quick pressure, well picked up, and there's Pharaoh McEver again, 13 yards along the outside. He now has four receptions for 64 yards. Maryland's done a really good job at picking up pressure, but it's the secondary blockers for Maryland who are doing an even better job at picking it up and allowing for Mago to pick up runs like that of 22. First and 10, and he's into the second level, brought down just shy of the goal line, but it is first and goal for Florida. Hand off to Jones as he gets outside, and Florida International has tied this game up, scoring 21 unanswered since the first quarter, sorry, second quarter, and we have ourselves a tie ball game. Maryland needs to find something in this offense as Harrison Picks up three yards, but already a third and long upcoming. Pigram to the air, looking underneath for Vey, who breaks away from contact, but can't get to the first down marker. It's a three and out, and Florida will get the ball right back. We'll go, moving around. He gets Thomas Oliver, and then there's going to be a face mask on top of it. Tons of free yards for Florida. And it's first and ten inside the 40. Go throwing over the middle. There's Thomas Oliver again taking a big hit, but able to hold on with the 275 yards through the air now. Handoff now to Jones. 
And that's a gain of six as Maryland's defense that looked super stingy in the first half. It's starting to look like Swiss cheese. Third and two, they are able to stop Sean Darius Phillips. So it'll be a field goal for FIU. But Maryland's still down and there's three and a half to go. Bigram with a throw over the middle, it's Lorenzo Harrison, a gain of 16 to start the drive. Let's see if they can build off of that. On second down, setting up a screen now for Harrison. Sorry, that is Ty Johnson out there for the screen. He picks up four yards, third and five. We've seen a few of those thus far today. Pigram tries to step up and he runs right into a sack, a loss of three. The offense is gonna stay out there. Interesting choice as Davenport just drops a wide open pass. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh, there's no excuse for it. He heard footsteps and just drops it. So first and 10, we'll see a handoff go to Jones and he's breaking out into the secondary across the 20 and brought down near the 15, a 33 yard run to start for Florida International. First and 10, they go handoff now to Sean Darius Phillips and he's gonna walk in 16 yards and just like that, Florida International has taken a 10 point lead with just over a minute to go. Maryland is shocked. They do not know what the hell just happened and now we need to get something going. First and 10, Pigram just misses. Just very far miss. Second and 10, trying to escape and he runs right into a sack. Oh my God, it's Newton Salisbury who has five sacks on the day now. Third down and 18, Pigram hit as he throws, lobbing one up. Can't be brought in by Jacobs. It's fourth and 18, the game rests on this play. Pigram free pressured, sacked, and this game is over. Maryland, losing to Florida International here in week one, a little bit of an upset. Newton Salisbury, five sacks, that's freaking ridiculous. Not exactly how you, you know, how you want the year to start a loss to Florida International in what should have been considered a tune-up game. Instead is a huge loss for Maryland. Not exactly the coaching debut for Bill Cower that you want. But there are some strong points that we can build upon. Um, the run game was decent. Um, Lorenzo Alexander, I was impressed with the way that he did play. DJ Moore is an absolute beast. Uh, we definitely need to figure out ways to feed him the ball more. In terms of defense, Shane Cockrell did an excellent job. He was, I'm going to probably go ahead and say the lone bright spot on defense. We did well as a unit, you know, shutting him down early, but in the second half, there was nothing going for us. Big room being sacked six times is not good. We need to prevent that. Harrison, 54 yards on the ground, a touchdown. Vey with the option touchdown. DJ Moore finished with six receptions for 90 yards and a touchdown. He is a beast. Harrison was our second leading receiver, of course, our running back. And then it was just a few guys with one reception here and there, and of course, our tight end with two. That drop by Jarvis Davenport was huge. On defense, our tackle leaders in the backfield, Shane Cockrell had five tackles, three for loss, one sack. He's a beast, absolute beast. The other man, of course, with the sack was the defensive tackle, Kingsley Opara. And that'll be it for that game. An unfortunate way to start the year, but you just kind of got to move on and focus on your next game, which is against 1-0 Iowa. This should be a good one, as we are already getting Big Ten Conference play underway. Just because Maryland's 0-1 doesn't mean they can't start 1-0 in conference, which is obviously going to be the goal here. Taking a look at Iowa, they do bring a very good offense to the field. We're going to have to figure out a way to stop that. We'll take a look at their schedule and then a quick look at ours as we've got to get these wins early because Florida State, Ohio State, Michigan, Penn State, and Wisconsin is going to be a very ugly stretch of games. So... We know what we need to build upon. We need to keep our quarterback upright. We need to keep throwing the ball to DJ more and probably run the ball a little bit more. Otherwise, you know, we just gotta let it play out and see how well this Maryland team really is. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment about what you think this team's strengths and weaknesses are. And I'll see you guys next week as we face Iowa. See ya.